Hi, Technoscribe here, uh, again with the second video uh, showing you the second build that I build on this server in Gamey Edges. And um, so let's take a look at it. It is going to be in that direction over there. It is my attempt at my first castle like structure. So let's take a look. It is kind of in a um, semi Egyptian mode. By this time, I had learned to do, uh, be able to get infinite items, uh, still in survival mode, still building uh, precariously on the top of the towers, but at least I didn't have to craft any of the blocks uh, that I needed, so I was able to uh, just grab them from my inventory and build them. Here are my sad little representations of palm trees. I have since seen much better palm trees uh, created by other Minecraft users, and uh, I think I'll update these to those as well. So as you enter uh, the sandcastle, you'll see I have nice little fountain waterfalls coming down. I do have the sound off because um, there had was a storm and it was quite noisy, and you were, I wasn't able to hear my voice over the sound. So. Uh, there's a nice waterfall sound, water sound when you come into the into the castle, and here's a nice little fountain area, and there are four lower rooms and then the two upper rooms on the top. This w room here was my base, and all the rooms were completed with a crafting area and storage, a nice little living area, all decorated with uh, beds and storage, and each room has access to the towers ready to defend the castle from intruders and uh, I have equipment here to help everybody defend the castle and I'll show you the upper areas in just a minute so uh, I welcomed other users that were online uh, on the Gaming Edge uh, server to take up residence in this particular castle Faiza uh, Grimm, he uh, took over this part here, this is his little uh, area and Lyra took over Lyra's lair over here and so we have a nice she has a nice little area bedroom dining area living area crafting area and then uh, the last room I thought Tara, Tara was Graham was going to take this one but I don't think she did she hasn't put up a sign yet so it may still be open if you decide to join our server please feel free to take advantage of that room as your home base until you get settled on our server so let's go upstairs to the throne rooms. On the second level here is here is the Queen's throne room. I got this design, or saw this design, on uh, one of the many, many YouTube videos that I've watched on Minecraft, and I thought it was a cool design, so I decided to create it here. Um, I have since seen much, much nicer designs, but uh, this was my attempt at a throne chair. And the other side is the same uh, room, but it's the King's throne room and it's on that side over there. Then I have a walkway that I built on the very top, uh, an area so that we can defend the castle from zombies and skeletons and creepers. So you have a nice nice uh, field of view here. And if you need to quickly get down, I have these fountains work great as quick elevators to the home base uh, going up or down these particular steps. Now down in the front here is my attempt at creating a uh, statue of Anubis uh, with gold and obsidian. And what was funny is on the first night when I built it, it was nighttime, uh, Ender, an Enderman decided to take a perch up on top of one of Anubis's ears. And so I guess he thought maybe it was a statue in his honor and he took over that Anubis. Of course, what would a uh, castle or a, an Egyptian area be without a pyramid? So the Grimms helped me build this pyramid. At the beginning, it was just an empty shell inside. I think Faiza had put some TNT and I think a creeper had set it off one time. And then I decided to build uh, some rooms inside with uh, monster spawners or dispensers that would uh, dispense uh, spawn eggs. And so... Uh, the Grimms came in and they had to fight off hundreds and hundreds of, of zombies that were coming out, pouring out of this particular uh, pyramid. Uh, after that I thought, well, that's kind of hard. No one can go in and 
and really enjoy the inside of it. So let's let me build some crypt areas. So as you go into King Tut's tomb, of course I tell everybody there's no treasure inside and there's danger. Uh, the first chamber right here is a queen's chamber and it's behind a hidden door. And I was uh, fooling around with redstone and wiring and so forth and that was my first hidden door attempt. And when you step on this pressure plate here, well, out pop zombies. Of course, we have to have zombies inside the chambers. And here's the uh, crypt with all the rotten flesh and bones, but of course, treasure. Always have treasure. Then if you go up here, ooh, there's another zombie in my way. See, he can get out. He knows how to use a hidden door. And uh, this side up, when you go to the top, is the king's chamber tomb. And when you step on this pressure plate, it throws, uh, shoots arrows at you. But I believe somebody has already already taken all the treasure and so forth from his chamber. I think I had filled it up, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been on this build. I may have to refill that with rotten flesh and bones and treasure. Anyway, that is uh, my pyramid. Uh, but all the grams helped me out quite a bit. Uh, they were wonderful and helping me out with this concept of creating this um, these, this Egyptian area, this nice little sandcastle. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, working with them. That's the whole point about Minecraft is collaboration, creativity. Those are the wonderful things about, about Minecraft. So there we have it. There is uh, my sandcastle area tour. And I hope uh, you wa hope in the future we have more uh, users join, more teachers wanting to noob it up with us. My next uh, video will be heading out in that direction, and that is my medieval village, my medieval township. So um, if you'd like to see that, uh, click on the next video. And hope to see you soon.